Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Squarespace website and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you disconnect or remove your square processor for payments from your Squarespace website? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to remove your square payment processor from your Squarespace website anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running a business and you are processing your payments in person through the Squarespace website using your Square processor, but maybe it was a little complicated, so you're going to use a different processing service. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's actually handled here in your Squarespace website. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already opened up my Square account, and this is the Squarespace editor. Now to disconnect your Square credit card processing from your Squarespace, here on the left side, you're going to click on this little gear icon. Once you do that, you're going to see this other drop down menu right here, and you want to click on selling. All right, once you do that here under the selling tab, you want to go ahead and click on payment. It looks like a little credit card icon. All right, once you do that, you're going to see all of the different payment processors that you have set up on your Squarespace website. And to remove the Square credit card processing, you want to scroll down until you see the Square logo right here and just click on. All right, once you click there, you will see a few options for your Square credit card processing. And as you can see, once it's connected, you can accept payments in person with cash or credit card. But to disconnect it, look towards the bottom, you're going to see this red button here called Disconnect Square. Okay, once you do that, you're going to get this warning letting you know that you are about to remove the Square in-person payment options from your Squarespace website. If you're okay with that, click on Confirm. Okay, just a quick second later, the page refreshes, and now you can see if you scroll down to Square Payment Processing, it is no longer connected. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to disconnect the Square Payment Processor from your Squarespace website, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.